Hey guys, um, just thought I would jump on real quick and do a, I got an order for a pastel wreath and I went ahead and cut all my pieces and got them done. I uh, just wanted to come on here and, and do like a tutorial for this. I don't know where all the stuff at. Anyways, don't pay attention to the stuff behind me. It looks really bad. So I'm still waiting on my unique in the creek board. So I have the the board that I got from uh, from Dollar Tree. Um, and so we're gonna do pastel colors. I've already went ahead and cut my, uh, my mesh, but I saved a few pieces um, that needed to still be uh, cut and folded. That way we can, we can try to get people to, uh, you can see how we do the wreath, but this is like a, it's a half petal, so I took all of my mesh. I got. Uh, we're working with purple, the pastels. It's um, I think it's called like a window pane is what it's called, and then um, the pink. And so I went ahead and I did heat seal it um, with my wood burner, um, and but I cut them in ten by ten pieces, um, and so what I did was. I took the 10 by 10 pieces and I used a ruler and I, you know, went from corner to corner and cut down that way um, to make a smaller a half a piece. And then I did these. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to bring the, the camera down and I'm going to show you how I cut it and then how I folded it. And then I'll save the second piece for maybe a little further into the video. And uh, that way we can learn that. And my friend Patty's here too, so. Okay. Okay. I don't want to be in today. All right. So, I'm going to move this out of our way. <clears throat> so, remember, you always want to have a glass surface if you're going to use your wood burner. Um, and this is just like, I think it's called a chisel tip. Um, I don't know if you can see. It's, it, it's kind of a, it helps you be a little more precise. So I just take my ruler and put it on the one corner and then go up. And of course you can just start in the corner and just take your time and go down it slow. So this is wood burning your mesh. Uh, doesn't mean it won't fray. It can still fray. Uh, and it, like any other mesh, the more you handle it, the more it, it's liable to fray. Um, but if you do have a, a fray or a string hanging, don't pull it. Um, just take your scissors and cut it off. Um, but so it's not that hard. So so you're going to take that and you're going to have two pieces. Um, so you're going to have a long end. It's just going to be a a, a, di um, a triangle, a diamond. And you're going to have your long end down here and then your upper end. So. Um, you're going to take this, and I always turn the peak to the left, and then go end to end right here. And you want to try to match your, uh, your ends up as best as possible. And then you're just going to take your fingers and kind of walk them across, scrunching the, the, um, the material. And then, of course, once you get it like that, you're just going to kind of shape it out. Um, and I have started using these little rubber bands. They come from the Dollar Tree. You get, I think, 500 for $1.25. Um, and this helps you to where if you want to pre-make your petals before you get started. Uh, and it holds them. Either that or I got these from Dollar Tree. They're um, just little clips and they kind of hold it good too. So if, if you wanted to use a clip instead... Um, you could always just do that, but you would have to have however many things you have. So I went ahead and started and I preloaded my board. Um, as you can see, I put went ahead and I used not using the, um, the first row. I'm going to use the second and I've done every hole and then I did a shared hole. So, um, you know, you got two in each thing. So we're going to go ahead and start putting them on. And like I said, I already have them pre-cut and already folded to kind of try to not to have to keep you here all night. But you want to take it down um, to the rubber band. You want to leave about a little tip of your finger in there to do that. And then you're going to pull it tight. 
and then this one's going to go over top of the other one just barely lapping it over so we're going to do that all the way around Caesar go lay down so you're going to keep going and you're going to make sure that like this this is kind of like a windmill so all these petals this the folded edge is going to all go to the same side because when we get to the purple all the purple ones is going to go the opposite way so it'll be it'll kind of look like a windmill effect so oops. and um i don't know um i posted it on facebook uh, i have a website it's sincerecreation.com um it doesn't have the s on creations uh, my mom has that up and running um, and I can take orders on there, uh, or if you want to message me or whatever, I can take orders through there. Um, I have payment set up on that website also. Um, so thank God I have a mother and she don't mind doing that because I'm not very tech savvy when it comes to stuff like that. Um, but also, uh, in two weeks, my shop will be opening, um, and a local gentleman uh, had got a building, and I don't know if he rented it or bought it. Either way, I don't know. But um, so I've been talking about trying to get my shop open for I don't know seven or eight months now, and I kept putting it off. I was like, "Well, we're going to buy a house," and so I kept putting it off, and I just kept doing it out of my house. And lo and behold. I posted on Facebook the other day that I was looking for a building or an office space and somebody messaged me, I think it was Chris Brown, and he messaged and was like, hey, try JT Thompson. So I did. Um, he has an amazing plan in, uh, in uh, going on. It's going to benefit our community really well. Um, I'm super excited. Uh, so I went down and uh, me and my husband went down. We looked at it. And we were the first person to actually rent a space. So I'm super, super excited. And I kind of like the morals that he has uh, going into this because he said, you know, I just don't want like you to sell stuff, your wreaths in my shop or, you know, have a shop in his business and then put my wreaths other businesses in Danville and Madison, which is really good because it's a small community and, um, you know, you shouldn't be trying to compete with other businesses as far as, you know, stuff like that. So, I really thought that was pretty awesome. Um, but, hopefully, uh, from what I understand, we'll be open up and running. He will uh, in two weeks. And there's going to be, I think, like eight to 12 vendors in, the, uh, in that building on top of his own furniture um, he's going to sell furniture and I'm pretty sure he told me it was new and antique. Um, so it's something new coming to our area and we could actually use something. So, uh, I'm really excited about that and I'm really excited about getting my, my place and, and, you know, getting a place to sell my stuff. Um, so, uh, it's, I don't know. I've been waiting for this for a long time and I'm really hoping that it takes off, but, uh, if you guys want to go uh, subscribe, you can subscribe. It, it's free. All you do is subscribe, and then, um, you know, if I go live or whatever, you get a uh, an alert. Um, Kathy, it's located in the old Danville Lumber Building, um, and it won't be open for two weeks, but um, he had appointments for, like, a whole bunch of people coming and looking to rent the space. He's got stuff, like from like a little tiny cubby all the way up to like a big, uh, a big space. And it, you know, I, I've searched all over Danville and Madison for a place and it's the rent on all of it has been outrageous. Um, and so I was really happy with the, you know, the amount of rent that he was charging and it, it's just an awesome, awesome deal. So I'm, I'm really excited and he's got a lot of new things coming before summer. Um, so he has a good plan and I think it's going to turn out really well. So if you guys know anybody that's looking for a place to take their business or, you know, a place to rent or whatever, um, definitely get a hold of him. He's local. He's, um, 
he's from here uh, and I think he moved away for a while but anyways I'm super excited about it I'm glad he came back to do this um, and I'm the kind of person I believe all things happen for a reason and uh, you know I had some issues with my job we don't want to go into that but uh, you know my stepmom was like you know God puts you where he wants you to be and if he tries to close the door and you won't let him, then, you know, he'll do it one way or another. So, I guess that's what happened. And, uh, like I said, I've been looking for six, seven months for a place. And then just out of the blue, um, this came up. So, you know, I guess not everybody has my same opinion and that's okay. But I think all things happen for a reason. And um, so, I'm super excited about this. But... Um, if you wouldn't mind, you know, going and liking my page, sharing it, uh, I'd appreciate it. And also, why am I missing petals? I can't count, I don't guess, Patty. I don't like the more pink ones. Okay, so I'm missing four petals. I'll have to find them. But anyways, so this, this is a zip tie gun, and it just really quickly, well, it don't do nothing if you don't turn it the right way, but it's a... Uh, you just click it tightens your zip ties and cuts them at the same time saves a lot of trouble on your hands but um anyways so i was sitting here thinking before i got ready to do this live caesar me and that dog anyways i was sitting here thinking you know they got that place i think it's in charleston and you can go and um you have like a glass of wine and they teach you to paint and all that so I was thinking wonder if anybody hi Dave I miss you like crazy but anyways um, wonder if anybody would be interested in like doing a wreath and um, you know just having a glass of wine and, and you know doing a wreath everything will be provided it kind of be like something you could do like a girls night out or you know whatever I, I was thinking um, that would be pretty awesome because I know in Charleston that that painting place does quite a bit of money uh, like a bunch of people go there so I was thinking maybe that was something that I would check into to see if um, you know if that's something we could do around here um, you know and just do make a wreath and uh, go from there but I'm gonna check around and see what I can see what I can come up with so anybody that hasn't saw me load these boards, um, you just go from, let me see, you go from the back and you just put them in and then you go all the way around and you just put them in there and then when you're done, we can go back and zip tie them. Right now, I'm just doing every hole. Um, probably have to go back and do the shared holes also, but um, if anybody has any questions or something I can help you with just yell um, I still I've got to get a mediator for my videos somebody that watches the videos and answers the questions and stuff for people that ask um, haven't done that yet but I will get to that but if you want you can go to like I said since uh, sincerecreation.com and um, you can subscribe and, and they also, um, if you want a wreath and you don't, you know, you know what you want, see if you can find a picture uh, or, you know, say, hey, I want certain colors. Um, so I, I'm, I'm pretty good about matching whatever it is that you ask me to do. Um, so I, I'm, this is like, I love this. This is very <laughs> relaxing to me. It's. You know, this is something I love to do. So. But. So I'm not sure who all is putting in, um, who all the vendors are that's going into that building. Um, I'm sure I can find out, um, you know, what's going on and who I was going in there, like I said, I was one of the first people to, well, I was the first person to rent mine, so, uh, but I've got to go down there this week and try to get some of my stuff put in, 
So on these purple ones, you're going to go, like I said, you're going to go the opposite direction. So you got all of your, I've got to find those four pink ones, but you got all your pink ones with the bend going this way. So we're going to take the purple ones and make the bend go the opposite way. Um, then you're just going to take them and so right now, um, I'm just going in and I'm putting them in every hole. Now we're probably going to have to go back and do the shared holes. And uh, see, I'll check and see about the coverage once we get them put in. Do you see any pink ones, Patty? No, I don't know where I lost them That's at. what I'm looking for. Did you cut? I mean, did you count? I don't know. I may not have cut enough. Who knows? I may have not cut enough for it. Do you see any pink? I don't even see the pink mesh, so. But anyway, so right now I'm just doing every single hole. And then um, we'll probably have to go back and add the, the zip ties for the shared holes. Um, and like I said, um, if you are looking to purchase mesh, um, they've got the craft outlet. Um, they do really good, unique in the creek. They sell mesh, they sell the centers. Um, I got the cutest little center the other day from um, Craft Outlet, and I made a um, it's a little known three little gnomes in yellow and black. I made that wreath, and uh, it turned out really cute. And I'm starting to my husband telling me that. Um, if I do these football and basketball teams that people like it so I'm not a, a, a Steelers fan but that's the colors I had at the moment so I went back and I did a, a Steelers uh, wreath and that one turned out really good too uh, I made my own sign for the middle of that um, but right now I'm just reloading this the uh, the every shared hole so the shared holes is so like you see it's this hole and this hole well then um right here we're going to put another one so we have shared holes and um it adds a little more fluffiness and fullness to where you can't see the board underneath it and like i said in the last video i'm still waiting on my unique in the creek boards um they come from canada so, the lady who owns uh, Unique in the Creek, I think her and her husband, or maybe just her, designed the boards. Um, they're not as flimsy as the ones from the Dollar Tree, um, but they'll do. Um, they do an okay job, I mean, uh, but I, I like the Unique in the Creek better. So, now that I've put the shared holes in, I'm going to go in and add the rest of my purple, um, my purple leaves. And like I said, this is uh, considered like a pinwheel wreath. Um, and I'm use, just using needle nose pliers to tighten down my um, zip ties. And if you see, you see I have like a little string right here. Instead of pulling it, you're just going to cut it. Um, and you can do all that when you get to the end of it and you hang it up. And then you can see, you know, what all needs to be fixed. But I go in and pre-close my zip ties just a little tiny bit to where I don't have to try to hold them in, um, put them in at the same time. But it does get a little tricky once there's so many on here. Oh, I must have put that one in wrong. I was using the wrong tie. But anyways, if, if anyone would be interested in doing like the, the wreathing night and, you know, get, you, you can have, you, you can book a table, tell me how many people you got coming, uh, we'll do a wreath, um, and I don't know if you have to have a license for wine, if you, I don't know how that works, I've never done nothing like that, but I figured it'd be something we could do in this area. Yeah, let's go to prison because we've served wine. <laughs> Patty's going to put us all in jail. She don't even drink. No. She's just sending us all to jail. But 
anyway, so the less you touch your mesh, the better off you are. I need a bigger table. I said this last time too. Uh, but since I'm getting, a sh I got a shop and going to be putting a lot of it in there, I'm not so worried about the really big table. Uh, but, mm -hmm. Patty, listen, this is my best friend checking out reads <laughs> by somebody else. <laughs> I want you to make one like that. Oh, she wants me to make one. I want you to make one like that. But anywho, so I just keep going around and uh, putting these in here. And I know I'm going to be, I think, one or two short on this because I have the pieces that I'm saving to show you how to fold them. Maybe not, though. Maybe it's, maybe I ran out of pancunos. Anyways, so you want to make sure you're all your little things are going one direction. Like my pink went one way and my purple's going another. And this piece of purple right here is going wild. My bitches is going crazy. Let's see if I can, I'm trying to see if I can glue it. There we go, just pop, do a little. Yeah, okay, so anyways. Let's see, we got two more. And I think I only have one in here, so I'm gonna fold, do another fold for you guys so you can see how we do that if anybody's jumped on and um, I need a softball one. Um, Go under the page, Cheryl, and uh, do like an order. I want to check and make sure all the payment stuff is working. And um, you'd be my perfect person to do that. <laughs> but, but I think I told y'all the last time I went to Gracie and Tate and I had got some... Um, some poly burlap down there that she had and some ribbon um, I'm a ribbon hoarder I have lots of it um, but a lot of these wreaths some of them look really good with ribbon some of them not so good um, in the world that's what it is. You must have run out of paint. I must have. I got two pieces over here purple. I can use it. This one don't want to cut. Well, this is a zip tie gun. Um, just in case you was wondering. Now I got two purples I got to fill in now. I've got, oh, there's, a, there's one. I found one. So I'm just missing one, which is the one I'm laying there that I was going to show you guys. I'll put it in backwards. So now we got all of our purple going one direction That's and our pinks going the opposite direction but I need to fill in those two right here so I'm going to show y'all another fold on this Whoa. I don't need that it's okay. I'm going to show you the fold again um, for this leaf I've got a fray right here and I heat sealed this so it, it still will fray so you're just gonna take your triangle, and you're gonna fold it in half, and try to line your peak and your ends up as best you can. Um, so you're gonna do that. And then you're just gonna put your fingers on here and you're just gonna scrunch it all together. And let me find a little rubber band here. The only thing is, is when you buy these, there's 500 of them and they all stick together. So you just kind of have to roll them between your fingers. Oh, there it goes. Did I put it? No, I didn't. I started to say I did it backwards. But it goes in here. Are these going in there too? Yeah, they will go in there next. So you can just give your purple a little fluff, and like I said, it's supposed to go one over top of the other. Um, 
just it don't really have to be over top just so let me scoop that some so I can hold this up and you can see it so I need a thing that zooms out but this is it so far and then um, I still have to go back and find those pink pieces yeah, it's two it's two sheets like this is what I'm missing. I don't know where it went to. Anyways, I'll I'll get it. But so the next one that we got is the window pane. Um and like I said, it's it's pastel and it's like real shiny. Um I'm gonna go ahead and load the board really quick so that we can just get them put in. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do every one plus the shared holes because we already know we got to do that. This board here, like I said, the Unique in the Creek board is way better. Um, it, it's got the right amount of holes and all that. This is kind of just, the spaces I think are too far apart, but that's my opinion. Um, shoot. That's why you have to put so much more in there. If anybody, uh, if anybody wants is interested in those little uh, like little classes, um, you know, I can try to get with somebody and see if we can't do like a class, maybe once a month or once every two weeks or whatever, and um, just get some of your friends and have a girls' night or a guys' night or who, however you want to do it. Um, we can even do some for kids. Um, you know, if you wanted to have the kids have a night and learn how to make them a wreath or whatever, um, whoop, I about dropped it. So I have a sick kid right now, so we have, uh, I think my grandkids are sick, and so she's sick, and my, my daughter is sick, and, uh, so we've been dealing with that for the last couple of days. But if I get sick, I'm killing her. Let me tell you what I just did, Patty. Okay. I just put every one of these things wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so you do make mistakes. I just made the biggest one. And it's not hard to fix them. I haven't tightened them yet. I just put them in wrong. Um for another episode. <laughs> yeah, we'll finish this one next week, but no, I'm just kidding. So, um, it's not hard to fix them. The hardest part is just getting them back out because when you double load them like that, it's the zip ties are a little uh, snug. So, I usually load them from the back, and that's why I was thinking I did them right. But I finished uh, my purple flower wreath and it is gone. Um, I still have the little pink wreath with the bunny ears and the bunny feet on it. Um, I have the Steelers wreath. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to do this in a hurry so I don't tie everybody up. I know we all got stuff to do, dinner to make, kids to bath, all that wonderful stuff. So it would have almost been done if I hadn't put them in like this. <laughs> but it does leave your um, back of your board uh, real good because you, you don't have to worry about scratching nobody's door or whatever because it's, it's flat on the back. It's still um, flat. <clears throat> oh. Caesar, stop whatever you're doing. Your tail's going all over the place. He wants me to force him. Yeah, because there's nobody to pay attention to him, and his daddy's gone, so. He only likes people when Chris isn't home. So, so anyways. I haven't decided on what I'm going to do for a center yet, but um, I'll, I'll figure it out. 
and we may have to come back and when I figure out the center. So, and I ship anywhere. Um, I ship anywhere and I have figured out um, how to do a flat rate shipping. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, on the website, you get, you put your zip code in or whatever, and it'll tell you what your shipping is. But I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, we figured out the $20 flat rate shipping, which is way better than what it was. Um, so I've had a couple people order from out of state, and when I first started shipping, I was like, gosh, that was expensive. Like, it was... It was a lot of money to try to ship a wreath, and uh, I try to keep my wreaths affordable because everybody um, should be able to have a wreath. Um, what am I doing? Oh, it's just a um, Christian. Oh. So, anyways, so this is the the fourth row in because we didn't do anything on the first row. Um, and these, I do post my videos on YouTube when I'm done. And that way, if you want, you know, go back and watch it. So here's this one, and I turned it the same way that I turned my pink. Um, so to go back with the fan, uh, the, the pinwheel effect, um, you just stick it in there and tighten it down. Fluff it up as you go. Um, I'm really hoping to get a really cute center for this. I have started getting in my Mother's Day signs um, for my wreaths. So, if anybody would like to, you know, order a Mother's Day wreath or, you know, something, just let me know. I've got a few orders for, which comes first, Memorial or Labor Day? <laughs> I don't, whichever one comes first. I've got a few orders for that. Um, I do, do, I do like um, saddlebags that go on top of tombstones. I do... Um, the vases that go beside, you know, like the little vases that are posted on the graveyards and stuff. I do those for, um, for people. Um, and I, I mean, I went and priced them at the, like the flower places and stuff. And they're, they're really expensive. Um, so I try not to be expensive because I know, you know, we all want to put something nice on our, our loved one's graves. Um. So, let me put one on my on mom's. Patty has some on her dogs, the Carly's. I mean, not one of my wreaths, but she's got all kinds of like little solar things and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, so, we're just going to keep going around and putting them in here. And, um,. I kind of haven't decided what I'm going to do for the center yet. Um, the lady that ordered this is like, hey, I just want pastel colors. Um, I was like, well, what do you want? And she says, whatever you want to do, I know you'll make it okay, which I appreciate it. She's, she's got, I think, two wreaths off of me for different holidays. Um, so, this one, I love this one. This is, these this right here sets it off this because it's kind of sparkly and it's got like green and pink and blue and purple and like a iridescent I think that's the word a iridescent color or iridescent something I don't know that's what it looks like um, so just remember when you put them down in your zip ties you want to go you know the tip of your finger long that way you don't have to worry about them coming back out um, well, I think that was all of them. So, we got to reload it again. Let me cut off the zip ties. But, oh. I got you. I got you, Debbie. Um, I've got the orange. I'll just have to make a um, Texas Longhorn sign to go in the middle. Um, yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll start working on that. You know, I absolutely love Kevin. Uh, love that kid. Sweet kid. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I got you. Um, so, 
So if anybody, you know, like I said, if you want something, you can go on the website. Uh, I think it has a place for messages or whatever. And you can message me and just say, hey, this is what I want. Or send me a picture of something that you've seen that you think you would like. Uh, and I'll be more than happy to. Why does that keep shutting? That's not what's shutting off. <laughs> Listen, I'm special tonight. Special. But anyways, just send me a picture. Uh, Debbie, I definitely know what you're wanting. Um, I will I will work on that tomorrow. Um, Chris is on evening shift, so I think when he gets up in the morning, we are going to go down and try to put some pegboard and stuff up to get ready to start setting things up at the shop. And um, I'm just super excited. Like, I'm just super, super excited. Cheryl wants a softball and baseball one. Yeah, I've seen that. I told her to just go online and order it. That way I could check and make sure that... Patty, go on there and put, put in the picture of that dash hound one that you found and see if it'll let you... Like, is there a place to, um, like, put the picture or what? I don't know how... The, I've never ordered off there, so I don't know how it works. I mean, where I had the dash hound, where I pulled that Yeah, out pull, that. save that to your phone oh, and then okay. go under the Sincere Creation and see if it'll, it'll let you uh, put that in and order just so we can make sure the ordering parts right but anyways i'm sure it is my mom did it not me if i did it it probably would pay for something else my mom does really good at this computer stuff i'm not so great at it but in the shop that we're opening um it's gonna have my stuff for my wreaths um i've got a order for a quilt uh, that a lady sent me. She sent me a picture of it. Uh, so I've got to get get on working on that. Um, but my mom has those um, adorable uh, crocheted animals. They're like stuffed animals, but they're crocheted. So cute. So cute. Uh, matter of fact, is my dog still in here? Right there. Not that dog. Oh. It's a stuffed dog. <laughs> You said I know he ain't. I put it up somewhere. I showed you right, right over there. Yeah, that's him right there. My mom just so amazing, and I have been. When she made this dog, I said I need that, and she's like, I can't. All kinds of people's asked for it, and I was like, Yeah, well, I'm your oldest daughter. That is so cute. I know. Is he not adorable? Yeah, he is. He's and adorable. she's made some of my grandkids little animals and stuff she does awesome job like she loves it she just don't like sewing but so here cute. is the little uh dog that my mom made look how cute he, i'm gonna move my wreath for a second but look how cute he is like he um is all crocheted he's adorable yeah he is i and i mean he's pretty good size but um this is stuff like i'll have at my shop um makes me want to have one she, I bet you she can do a dash hound patty. Yeah. But anyways, so her stuff's going to be there too. Uh, most, a lot of people know my mom around here. So, um, but she does such a good job. And she has like doilies and table runners and so, and so pretty. I mean like so detailed in this little teeny tiny thin, I, she calls it yarn. I say it's string. Um, but it looks so good. She does such a good job. Me, on the other hand, I can crochet, but not like she can. Um, I mean, I can make afghans and stuff, but she goes into detail, and she makes uh, sweaters. <laughs> sweaters, and I, I see her once in this right here. Don't you bad. He's missing his daddy. Caesar. <clears throat> so we're going to go the opposite way with the second round of this color and like i said you just want to they're gonna it's gonna lay right in between the ones from before going the opposite direction um but i did order some boards and i'm gonna make this it's called a country girl and it looks like a little girl with a dress on from the back and i got the cutest hats for it the other day and I'm super excited about getting the boards in so that I can start on them. Um, because I think those will do pretty good. And, uh, I'm 
excuse myself. So, Caesar, you're not helping. Really, you're not. No help at all. I know you think you are, but it's not helping. He probably wants to go out. I don't Antoine came in, so he, I usually get Antoine to take him out because he he can drag you. Climb across the yard. Is he home? No, I don't know where he's at. But anyway, so you guys just you keep going, and like I said, you just fluff them up a little bit. Um, I was hoping I seen Shauna on here so that I could see if she liked this one. I really like this. I like the colors in it. So, and then I've got to find a a center for it. Um. I ain't real sure what kind of center I'm going to use just yet, but she's uh, she wanted a spring wreath, and I think I may just finish this inside one more row of this. Don't you think so? I like that. Yeah, that's so pretty. it looks so pretty. Like um, I showed Patty her purple one. I sent her a picture, but when you look in person, it looks so much prettier than oh, what yeah, it is in a picture. It does. But I think I'm going to do one more row of this right here. And then um, I think I made a pink glitter center. And I make my own glitter centers, uh, the balls that goes in the middle. So I'm going to um, make that and put another row of this in there. And then put that in the middle. Um, not sure if I'm going to add any ribbon. Because um, this is actually really pretty. Um yeah, this is gorgeous. So, but anyways, I won't keep you guys any longer. Um, I will post this on the website as soon as I get it finished. Um, I'm going to make my center. And like I said, I'm going to do one more row of this. And let me see if I can set this up to where you can, I can back up. Let me see. So this is oh, what yeah. we've got so far. That's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm going to do, like I said, one more row of this uh, window pane pastel. And then I'm going to put a, a glitter center in the middle. So, and it's pink and purple. Um, I love it. I do still have two pieces of pink missing, but yeah. I'll get it. <laughs> I think I'll find it. You'll find it after a while. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. And like I said, go to sincerecreation.com. And you can place an order. Uh, put in whatever it is that you're wanting. Um... And I will be more than glad I will reach back out to you, me or my mom one. Uh, and please like and share and follow. Um, I really appreciate it. And if anybody's interested in the, um, the classes um, to do maybe like maybe once a month, just have a day that, you know, we a bunch of people get together and you, you pay for like however many people you got coming or whatever. And uh, just you know, do like a, um, making a wreath instead of, you know, do the painting like they do in Charleston. Um, I think that would be pretty fun. Um, I know I don't get to see my best friends as much as I like to. I haven't saw Miss Trishy Poo in I don't know how long. Um, I do get to see Patty, but we live right close to each yeah. other, so. That's my way to work. Uh, that and she brings me food sometimes. Yeah. So, um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. You can go back. I'm going to post this probably in just a little bit. I'm still working on that My Tools section, my favorite tools. Um, but, so this is, you can see, it'll fit between a screen door and a, uh, like your main door. Or, but it, the back of it is going to be completely flat. So that, you know, you don't have anything that's going to scratch your, um, scratch your client's door, or your own door or whatever. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching and, um, hopefully I'll get to go live again tomorrow, but, um, thank you and have a good night. God bless.